Okay, before um, using a pH meter, it's not going to read properly unless it's calibrated first. So the proper way to calibrate is to have two or three calibration uh, solutions ready to go. These will usually be pH 4, pH 7, and pH 10 buffers. Uh, you usually want to make sure the machine is calibrated closest to the range of numbers that you're going to be measuring in your experiments. So today we're going to measure at uh, pH 4 and 7 uh, to calibrate the machine. So just like uh, normal procedures, you have start off the uh, probe in some kind of holding solution to keep it moist. To do the calibration, we're going to remove the probe and rinse it to begin with. And then we're going to begin by pushing the calibration button on the machine. After pushing calibration, you'll see the machine will blink for just a few moments, and then it will tell you which pH buffer uh, you should use. Buffer 7 is the first one that it would like, so make sure you take pH 7 buffer and immerse the probe far enough so that it can get a good reading. And then you'll see the hourglass blink for a few moments. Once the probe has stabilized a reading, it'll uh, ask you to confirm the reading. Sometimes this takes a few moments. There we go. The little flashing CFM will tell you to hit the confirm button to let it know that you can move on. Now you'll see that the buffer number changes to 4, and now you're, you're going to switch over to the pH 4 buffer for referencing. So again, make sure you remember to rinse off the probe between solutions. And then go ahead and put the probe into pH 4 and let it equilibrate. And again, you'll see that the CFM will be flashing, and then you're going to hit the confirm button. Okay, so go ahead and confirm that. And now it's going to expect uh, the next point of calibration with pH 10. And if you have the pH 10 buffer, you proceed at that point. Here, then, we can just go ahead and hit the calibration button to end the calibration process. And your probe is now ready to use with pH 4 and 7. So to confirm that everything is OK with the calibration, you can double check with either the 4 or the 7 and go ahead and take a reading of pH 4 or 7 to see that it actually does uh, read 4 or 7 exactly. finish off, remember to rinse your probe and then return it to the storage solution for the next reading. Alright, that's it.